Hello guys! Today we will be creating this comic effect inside Adobe Photoshop. So let's dive in. Here on Adobe, I have the image open. You can download it. I have included the link in the description below. So first thing here to consider guys is the effects that you are going to do may vary depending on the image size. So if you want to follow along, just crop your image to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Let's crop that one. So just make sure that the image size is about 2000 by 2000 pixels. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is copy our uh, object here by pressing Ctrl J in your keyboard. And for now, let's hide this layer. Let's create a new gradient layer. And I want to make it radial. Click here and then take this one. Then I want to reverse this one. So just click on reverse. This to 45 degrees and press OK. And I want to convert this one to a smart filter. So I'm going to go to filter menu here and convert to smart filter okay so I want to add an effect or background here so let's rename it PG one thing also to note guys is most of the time the effects depends sometimes it considers your foreground and background here so let's uh, reset by pressing D on your keyboard then go to filter then filter gallery in your artistic folder here just click poster edges here then Uh, and they pixel it here let's create a color half tone let's uh, make the uh, maximum radius to 8 and all the channels to 45 degrees then here the blending options here of our effects just double click the effects and change the mode to soft light So let's unhide our uh, layer here, our duplicate, then I want to select this one, so let's go to our selection tool here and just select this one, quick selection tool, then select your image here, and if you want to subtract, just press Alt on your keyboard and subtract. This is fine for me. So I want to refine my edge, so I'll go to select and select unmask. So here, just make it on black and uh, opacity to 100. And then select the brush here to refine edge uh, brush tool and then just brush it over the hairline over here it can take all the time in the world to create this selection guys but this is fine for me feel free to experiment the values here the right side just press ok when we have the selection so let's create a mask so I want to convert this to smart object so I will go to filter and convert to smart 
filter. Then first thing you're gonna do, ta, I want to go here, adjustment, then create the curves, then just right and lighten up the mid tones here a bit, just like that. And then go to filter. And I want to sharpen this one a bit, so let's go to other and high pass. And the radius just 15 is okay. And then again, here at the right side of our effects here, you can double click this blending option here, and then put this one to overlay, press OK. Next, let's go back to filter. Uh, let's go to our filter gallery here, poster edges, and then let's crank this up up to 6 and press ok so at the right side here let's again double tick this one then put this to soft light and opacity going down to 60% and press ok and then pixelate and color half tone let's put it to 8 pixels and then channel all the channel to 45 degrees and press ok so right now it's looking a bit messy uh, if we change the blending modes here to soft light then uh, can see our image here is a little bit over saturated so we can go to image adjustment hue saturation maybe you can set desaturate a bit like 25 minus 25 press ok so we're almost done guys last thing we got to do here you can go back to our my uh, BG here just to bulk pick this one because it's still it's a uh, smart object so we can still be able to uh, change our gradient feel here Photoshop creates a new document here that still contains our gradient feel so if you want to change your background just I double click it then here you can change your color just okay then afterwards just save it and then it will automatically update on our main document here yes. you can just close this one also one thing I like working with smart filter is you can still change the value here there we say this one you can still change it to 4 I think that's looking good nice last thing we can do is so if you notice the comic effects usually has like color deets so maybe we can put it into one folder so just click this one then shift click the bottom and control G so that create group then we stamp visible at the top just press ctrl alt and shift all together and press e then just hide this for now so what uh, we could do is separate our image into rgb just copy it three times and let's hide this for now then we'll focus on the first uh, image that we copy and then here at the uh, 
right side area uh, just be sure not to click the name here but double click this one if you are not seeing this one just click on the blending modes and then let's uncheck the R and the G here so that we have only the blue channel press ok let's unhide the second one and double click here the blank space uncheck the red and the blue so it's only the green channel and then the third one double click and then let's uncheck the green and the blue channel only the red channel left we have the uh, RGB composite or image here so if we solo this one you can see just the red channel the green and the blue channel so if you combine them together that creates our RGB that we see in our monitor so what we can do to make the that effect that we see on comic is to nudge each uh, of this layer uh, I'm selecting the second one so let's leave the first one for now just control T and then nudge it by using our R key here then nudge it twice to the right just click the arrow key one two then press enter and the third one here Control T and then nudge it to the left one two there you go so that's it guys thank you for watching our tutorials and be sure to subscribe for more tutorial like this and click that notification bell thank you